Hello! In this video, I will go over how to get Windows Server 2022 up and running as a VM in Proxmox. I will also show how to get memory ballooning to work properly. I have the ISO file already, but there is a link in the video description to where you can download the evaluation version of Windows Server 2022, as well as a download link for the vert.io ISO file. To upload the ISO file, navigate to the Proxmox local drive and click ISO images in the menu to the right. Click upload, followed by select file and find your ISO file. Then open it and upload it. While the Windows ISO file is being uploaded, you can either get the vert.io ISO download link from the video description or search for Windows Vert.io drivers and get the link from proxmox.com. Back in Proxmox, after the Windows ISO is done uploading, click download from URL and paste in the link in the field next to URL. Then click query URL. As long as the field next to file name gets populated with a file name, you can click download. After both the ISO files have been imported to your Proxmox node, you can click Create VM. Give it a name and check the box next to Start at Boot if that is needed. Tick the box next to Advanced if you don't have that option. In OS, select your Windows Server ISO image and change the type from Linux to Windows. Also make sure you have the correct version. For system, select storage location for EFI and TPM storage. This should be the same drive you plan on using for the main OS drive of your VM. Change the SCSI controller from vert.io SCSI single to just vert.io SCSI. Next, disks. Change the bus slash device from IDE to SCSI and select your drive location and size. For CPU and memory, give your VM an appropriate amount for what you will be using the VM for. I also like to change the type of the CPU from default to host. In the memory tab, enable ballooning so the VM does not take up more memory than what it is actually using. I like to set 512 megabytes as a minimum. Select the network bridge you wish to use. You can now finish up the VM creation without starting the VM. To add the vert.io ISO, click your newly created VM and then hardware in the menu to the right. Click add followed by CD slash DVD drive. Select the drive where the ISO is located then your vert.io ISO before clicking add. You can now start the VM and open a console window to it. If you were a bit too slow to press any key and you get an error message, just restart the VM from the console window and try again when it starts up. Set your localization settings, click next, then install. Enter your license key if you have one, or click I don't have a product key to skip it. Unless you really don't need the desktop, make sure to select desktop experience. Read the license terms if you wish before checking I accept and then move on. Now click custom install. You will not see your hard drive here yet. Click load driver then browse in the pop-up window. Expand your vert.io ISO and scroll down and expand vio scsi, then find the folder for your version. 2K22 in this case. Expand it and mark the AMD64 folder and click OK. Clicking next will start the driver install. After a short bit, you should see your drive in the setup window. You can click New to set up the drive, then Apply, OK, and then Next when done. Let the installation run its course, this will include a few restarts. 
After a bit, it will bring you to a window where you can enter a password for the server. Now, to send Ctrl Alt Delete, click the top button in the console menu, then the lower one in the expanded menu. Enter your password to log in. To make sure you don't miss any drivers for Windows, right click the start menu and click device manager. If you have any devices with warning signs on them, right click it and click update driver. Select browse my computer, then browse next to the location field and navigate to the vertio ISO. Select it, click OK, then next to install missing drivers. When done, you will get a list of the drivers that were installed. In this case, it was only the ballooning driver. One issue I have noticed is that the ballooning driver rarely works after being installed this way. Another way you can install it is by navigating to where the driver is located on the ISO, which is balloon 2K22 AMD64. Create a folder somewhere and copy the driver files into it. Open a terminal window in the folder you copied the files to and enter the command blnsvr.exe space dash i and press enter. After this, the memory usage should drop drastically. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.